Hello, and thanks for joining us. If you're looking to get the most out of your turf, relieve compaction, improve drainage, and reduce thatch, then this petrol-powered aerator may be what you are looking for. Aeration is key to achieving an excellent finish on your turf. Best of all, it can be done at any time of year to improve water retention for the roots. Now this particular aerator comes with a four horsepower engine and a working width of 450 millimeters, making it ideal to use on large lawns, sports fields, and golf courses. It also has a self-propelled drive, making it easier to control and operate. When using the aerator, you must maintain caution and wear the appropriate PPE. We advise gloves, safety boots, and air defenders. Petrol is not available from HSS, but fuel cans and PPE can be purchased through hss.com. Before starting the machine, you should set it on firm level ground, inspect the fuel and oil levels, and familiarize yourself with the controls. Before you start to work on an area, you should remove any potential obstructions, such as stones and sticks, and make sure that you are aware of any potential hazards, like power lines or pipes. You should also cut and remove any long grass and heavy soil. The area should not be too wet or too dry. To start the engine, you'll need to set the engine's on-off switch to on. Open the fuel tap and set the choke to fully closed if starting from cold or half closed if the engine is warm. With the throttle control set to fast, pull the starter cord two or three times until the engine starts up. Now, once the engine has warmed up, fully open the choke and reset the throttle to idling speed. Once you are satisfied, we recommend marking out the strips that you are going to be working on to ensure the entire area is fully covered. You'll notice that the unit is fitted with an operator's presence lever, or OPL for short. The tines cannot be engaged unless the OPL is moved to the handlebars. To begin using the aerator, take it to the start of the work area. Lower the tines into the soil, set the throttle to fast, and gently raise the OPL to the handlebars. The unit will begin to move over the ground with the tines penetrating the soil. The weights control the depth of penetration on the front of the unit. Add or remove weights as necessary to obtain the desired finish. It would be best to allow the aerator to progress at its own rate until the strip is complete. At the end of the strip, release the OPL and tilt the unit back on its wheels to raise the tines clear of the ground. Then, turn the machine round, ready for the next run. Repeat this process until the entire area has been covered. Now, if you need to stop in an emergency, simply release the OPL. If you want to learn more about the aerator or see our full range of gardening equipment, visit hss.com today.